Throughout our long history, Fox Chase Cancer Center has delivered many breakthroughs and many firsts. Miss Elizabeth Anderson's contribution was one of the most important, and indeed, one of the first. Who was Elizabeth Anderson, and what role did she play in securing the future of Fox Chase Cancer Center? Elizabeth Anderson was uh, a woman from Ireland who came to the United States aboard the ship Tuscarora when she was about 25 years old, and it landed in, the, um, in Philadelphia. Upon arriving in the United States, Elizabeth found work as a domestic servant and began a life of hard work and frugality alongside her friend and fellow Irish immigrant, Jane Dunn. She was a very hardworking person, an independent young woman who was determined to find a new life in America. She was frugal, she was shrewd, but she lived very simply. By the time of her death in 1906, Elizabeth had amassed a tidy sum, thanks in large part to her investments, and had also assumed the estates of her brother and Miss Dunn following her death in 1904. Elizabeth planned to donate her fortune to a few charitable organizations, the largest portion of which was given to the American Oncologic Hospital, where she had been one of the first patients treated earlier in 1906. At the end of Elizabeth's life, she left $40,000 to the American Oncologic Hospital, and that would be equivalent to about $1.1 million today. Elizabeth's gift allowed the AOH to secure a permanent home at 33rd and Powelton, space which the hospital occupied until moving to the Fox Chase neighborhood in 1968. It is thanks in large part to her gift, the first major bequest to the hospital that would become Fox Chase Cancer Center, that we honored Elizabeth by naming our planned giving society in her memory. Elizabeth believed that one of life's greatest blessings is the privilege to do for others as we have opportunity. Her planned gift was a demonstration of optimism and faith in future generations. It blossomed far beyond what she may have envisioned. In that spirit, we honor her and all who have given their support to Fox Chase over the decades.